All right, here's a couple more quest assignments for our week four. Uh, I just put in uh, attached from Have You Watched This, which was last week's video, Staying Fit at Home. I got this great idea. Read it. Tell me what you think. Let's see if we can get something going on with uh, the exercise you're doing for, for either for yourself or Mr. Meacham or Mr. Haddenham. I want to know what you're doing, and I'll share what I'm doing. But this one right here, Science Project Management. you got a lot going on. You're juggling schedules. Each one of you has a different schedule. You've got multiple classes you're tuning into. You've got library from Moriarty. Uh, you've got PE. You've got music. And Miss um, Castor has her own Google Classroom. Some of you have a lot of classes in Google Classroom. Um, so I've got a document here that's going to help you keep track of all the work you have to do while you're working from home. And... Um, use it to stay organized. I call it project management. And I did it just for science, but it's a spreadsheet and you can add your other classes. So when you go to assignment, uh, let's click on it, see if that'll launch it. Yeah, there it is. This is it. It's got check boxes that you can uh, mark off something that you have to do. So let's say my hydrodynamics research, it's done. I'm still working on that. Okay, water pollution prototype I'm doing, but I need support. Uh, how do I do this? And then public service announcement, doing. You're in the middle of writing it. Let's say you already finished your Flipgrid and your Pear Deck. You mark those as done. Uh, the physics study, hey, if you didn't need to study because you got a three or a four, mark it done. If you got a three or a four, or you did your retake and got it up to a three, mark it done. And the gim kit and the cahoots, maybe you're still doing. Maybe those are still uh, ongoing. And Legends of Learning, there's lots of cool games there, so maybe that's still uh, ongoing. But maybe you're, you're on the to-do phase. As we go down here, I'm getting to the assignments for this week. Evaluating sources... That's the think like a scientist one on my uh, update video. So hopefully that one, you've got it on your to-do list to do this week. And then these are all things we're going to be doing uh, this week and next week. You can see they're due later. Uh, and, and you can do them sooner, of course, because they're all videos where I, I show you what to look out for. And I'm helping you learn. It's what I'm here for. I'm your teacher. It's what I've always done. It's what I'm going to continue to do. Now, if you want to add more, you can just go down here and um, add maybe language arts. And then you can put assignments that you have to do there. So like your reading log, you can say ongoing because those are all the time. And if you want to add your own checkbox, here's how you do it. You go to insert checkbox. I know, isn't that easy? That's it. And you can add your checkboxes over here, or you can even just highlight these. I'm going to do control C and then copy. And if you don't like how it does that uh, dark line there, watch this. I'm going to show you how I put that line there. I went to border up here, and I can do no border and get rid of the line. Or see, you can pick different types of borders. You can pick the color of your line, and you can pick how thick you want the line to be. I made it that thick, so it shows. You know, I want the border around the box to be really nice. You can see I even gave some space there and at the top so you can see it because I thought the box looked really cool. And another thing you might want to do is I'm going to select this row. I'm going to go to view and I'm going to freeze it up to current row. Now watch what that does. Notice I'm scrolling down, but that part's frozen. It stays there, which is pretty cool because this is what you want to know. What do these check boxes mean? And then if you want to add math, you can do math as well. Uh, you can do music. You can add anything you want. This could be your one-stop place 
to managing all the work you have. And then anything you put on neat support, uh, like how do I finish this? These are questions you're going to ask me. You go to Clashcraft, and you go to message and yeah message me ask me that question uh, and if you don't get to it till the next day hey it's still there so you know oh that's right this is the one i needed support with and if it's blank you don't need support isn't this fantastic this is going to be a great tool to help you stay organized <laughs>